Good morning, Tokyo. We have a lot of positive news together this morning. CITV opens. On February 18th, Sierra announced the opening of new television station, CITV, an internet broadcasting station with future plans for terrestrial broadcasting and the beginning of radio station. We asked the director what this new TV station is all about and hope to achieve in the future. We also learned more about the program, Tokyo Positive News, that is currently being broadcast. The Stratosphere Probe Moku Moku 1 The Sierra's Department of Sky and Space is conducting daily experiments to realize a world in which anyone can visit the entrance to space for the price of an overseas trip. With the launch of its first unmanned test vehicle, the Stratosphere Probe Moku Moku 1, approaching the day after tomorrow on the 19th, we cover its progress. This is Tokyo Positive News on CITV. I'm Kazumi Maraki from Odaiba Studio, so let's take a closer look. Under the slogan of Protect the Earth, Pioneer Mars, Criminal Recovery Research Agency, or CIRA, an Odaiba based research organization that conducts research on how to solve the climate crisis and how to prepare human population explosion by migrating to Mars as a second home recently announced the establishment of a new television station, Sierra International Television Corporation, or CITV, on February 18th. In addition to the existing departments for land, sea, air, and space, Sierra has established a fifth department, a broadcasting station. We interviewed CITV's first director, Yumi Sadakata, about the future in her enthusiasm. Today, I would like to ask some questions to the first director of CITV, Yume Sadakata. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, um, so first of all, could you introduce CITV? Hi, CITV is a television。え、今、世の中が全体的に暗いムードになってしまっているのと私は感じています。え、そんな中、えっと、普通の報道も比較的にネガティブに報道されることが多いと思うんですけど、CITVではどんなことも明るくポジティブに発信していけたらと思っています。Oh, so you want to make a brighter words to CITV? Well, you will start new news program, Tokyo Positive News. Could you tell me more about it? はい、え、この番組では一般的には。ネガティブと捉えられてしまうような出来事も明るくポジティブに発信することと、あとは皆様の身近にあるようなあと、what wow, a fantastic TV program it is. So TPN is your first program, but what kind of program do you want to make in the future? Hi, Korekarawa, eh, Ima Yatir, so no Tokyo Positive News, Gambati, Tino Motira Arundeskido, but I see a drama of Mirkota Daiski Nanade, Yukuka, Jibende, Drama, Scutte Mitai, Tino Marima Sushi, at a variety of Totte Mitai this, Shira Niska, Hassin Dikina, Kikakutoka, Johotoka Taksar, Tomonade, Korekara King Kyushite. Great, I really feel your power to the future. So please share with us your enthusiasm. はい、意気込みは今まだ Alright, Alas, what would you like to say to the viewers on camera? Hi. 
まずは「東京ポジティブニュース」第1回目の放送をご覧いただき本当にありがとうございます、えー、先ほども述べたように CITV はこれからどんどん成長していきます皆さんどうかついてきてください画面の向こうのあなた一人一人に楽しい毎日を必ずお届けします番組作り頑張っていくので今後とも CITV の応援よろしくお願いしますいや、そう、I really impressed your answer and I really hope to appear your TV program in terrestrial broadcast so yeah keep going and do your best thank you yeah thank you very much today As you may say, Tokyo Positive News will focus on the brighter news in the world, or even on the gloomy news in a positive way. Our goal is to create a news program that will make you think positively and positively. Thank you for your support. Here is the news that follows. The day after tomorrow, on the 19th, SILA will launch the Stratosphere Probe Moku Moku 1 from Obihiro City, Hokkaido, Japan. And preparation for the launch are steadily underway in the CR Department of Sky and Space in Tokyo. CR's Stratosphere Pro Moku Moku project is a plan to create a vehicle that will realize a future that anyone can easily access the Stratosphere, which is at an altitude of 35 km, three times higher than airplanes fly. Anyone can view the Earth from almost the same view as in space. Moku Moku 1 Which is scheduled to be launched the day after tomorrow at its first m n test vehicle, will be launched from the Obihiro and Satsunai River Confluence Water Park in Obihiro City, Hokkaido, and will recover about three hours later in Yakushiro and Nemuro cities in Hokkaido. This space class has a similar mechanism to the space balloon, which attaches a camera to a helium balloon and flies into the entrance of space. Still in the past, The balloon bursts due to the difference in air pressure when it goes up in the sky, and when it descends, it descends with a parachute at once, making it impossible to stay in the stratosphere for a long time. However, the Moku Moku 1 developed by Sierra automatically detaches the balloons before reaching the altitude where the balloons burst and move to horizontal flight. When descending farther, it separates the balloons even farther so that it can descend slowly and fluffy. What you are watching now is a video of an experiment conducted in the Research Institute in Tokyo the other day. This huge device can simulate the environment at an altitude of 35 km. Six balloons were placed inside the device to be used during the ascent, but when researchers took them out of the device, they found that only one balloon was left because it had burst. In other words, the experiment was a total failure. Well, it's a good thing. They have noticed before the launch. They're lucky guys! According to Sierra, they have now changed the type of balloons and the experiment was successful and there is no problem with the launch. For this launch, Sierra is planning to carry the boarding pass with wishes written by those who supported them through crowdfunding. It is pretty challenging to launch in spring due to the weather conditions. However, they have been experimenting over and over and they hope to make the first launch a success. One day, we humans all hope to go on a tour of the entrance to the space together. In the next TPN, we will also introduce the Blue Earth video seen from the space taken by the probe. And that's our show for this hour. Be sure to stay tuned on CITV channel. Thank you so much for watching us and have a great day.